Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. This video, it's a lot of things I had left over from that other video. And I got to ask you all, are you ready for a great reset video for tomorrow? Let me know in the comment section down below. Aren't they a Ripple partner? Brazilian financial technology firm Nubank on Thursday posted a more than six-fold increase in net profit in the fourth quarter as it added nearly 5 million new customers to its ranks. Look at these numbers. Nubank hit nearly 94 million clients in the quarter. It said and is aiming to top 100 million this year. It reached 87.8 million in Brazil at the end of the quarter. While in Mexico, there were 5.2 million customers, and in Colombia, more than 800,000. So this shows you a couple things. Number one, it's leveling the playing field, and it's all part of the new financial system. Plus, th these countries are also strengthening their economies along the way. And yes, Nubank is a RippleNet user. And, you know, they're most likely also utilizing XRP. But Brazil is part of BRICS. So it shows you that Ripple is already setting up rails inside of BRICS. The same way I said, Ripple already has rails built inside of SWIFT. It can, it's easily going to be utilized by these countries as time goes on. Demonstration of using XRP without internet connection via SMS. Offline CBDC functionality is going to be an essential feature to ensure P2P anonymous transactions like cash currently does. The XRP ledger is light years ahead of the competition in this realm. And offline payments are going to be very important, especially with the new financial system coming. And people definitely still want anonymous transactions. If you could use CBDC the same way you can use cash, people would be in favor of a CBDC. But they know they want to use it against us. Video demonstration of using radio networks to facilitate XRP ledger transactions instead of expensive 5G towers for CBDCs. And yes, XRP can travel and make transactions over radio waves instead of using 5G. And again, a lot of people aren't a fan of 5G towers as well. That's how game-changing the XRP ledger actually is. In the United States, 2026 will be the first year when brokers are required to report information on the transactions regarding digital assets. This shows the exact regulations that was proposed by the IRS, so you know that they are serious about this. And I like this reply. I have a hunch that this will be the last year digital assets will be held back by manipulation. We are at the final shakeout to the top, in my opinion. And I think everybody's thinking the same thing. We're going to get regulations this year. Things are going to start to move this year. No longer are we going to have price manipulation on a lot of these cryptocurrencies. I still think the only thing holding XRP back right now is the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. But while we're on the subject of the IRS... Thomas Massey says this, the federal income tax was unconstitutional for most of our country's existence. The founders of this country would never agree to it. We should re repeal it. You know, that's one thing we should definitely get rid of is the federal income tax. You know, people are struggling in this country. And, you know, if people just kept their entire paycheck in their pocket, it would be a much better time in America, let me tell you. And, you know, these representatives are already pushing for this now. Hopefully somebody 
writes up something and they abolish federal income tax. I would love to see that happen. You know what? While you're at it, just abolish the IRS altogether and take the Fed out with them too and definitely change the treasurer. Get rid of Janet Yellen. She's working for China. Asia Next 6 SBI Global Digital Asset Institutional Adoption Trading Crypto Derivatives 6 equals Swiss Route Swift plus Ripple SBI equals Ripple Partner Take a listen to what he says here We are really excited about what the future holds for institutional adoption in crypto and in digital assets um, Beside me I, I'm lucky to have my two sh uh, shareholders in the room um, and I'd also like to ask them on stage you know, you know wh why support Asia next you know obviously you we were very early and um, you, you've been helping drive this space bo both of you from the forefront um, yeah so David I've, you know firstly what you know you support Asia next you've been part of large part of STX but what's the value that you really see in driving this new infrastructure so I think what we see is a uh, as our opportunity is to to build out uh, the f infrastructure that will help support the next chapter in the adoption of digital assets uh, more broadly, which I think is the arrival of institutional activity and as being the defining characteristic of this next phase in the adoption of the, uh, of the asset class. Uh, and we as six groups saw that the, the appetite for uh, regulated services uh, provided by trusted service providers uh, was something that was going to be in strong demand as we move into the next phase. And that's something that Six Group has been providing to the financial services sector for the last 90 plus years. And that we could bring that to bear uh, in Singapore in combination with our JV partner, SBI Digital Asset Holdings. So you take notice whenever anyone speaks about what the next phase for crypto is. They always mention institutional adoption, which is starting to happen right now. But then right after that, they always talk about regulations. And that's why I think we're gonna see regulations in 2024 and more institutional adoption happening at the same time. That's why I think by the end of this year, we're gonna be looking at a much different XRP. Ripple found that more than three quarters of global financial finance decision makers surveyed are either very or extremely confident that cryptocurrencies and CBDCs can meet their business needs compared to traditional fiat. Now, when it comes to Ripple, they're pushing towards CBDCs and they all know, every country out there knows that China is leading the way. And now that China starts picking up acceleration and they're starting to move much quicker, it's forcing everyone else to move quicker. And that's why I said, you could shed a year off any timeline that they ever gave you in the past. And that's why a lot of people aren't realizing how quick this is actually going to take place. They're still stuck in this idea that we're waiting another five, 10 years to 2030 and beyond. We, this is going to happen over the course of the next year or two. And for governments and central banks, the benefit of a CBDC upgrade from fiat currency are undeniable, including efficiency, cost, inclusion, oversight, transparency, enforcement, and collection. It represents a wholesale modernization of the entire infrastructure of money, the new financial system. And that's exactly what's coming. And that's why I'm always telling people, you got to get ready. You got to be holding when all this takes place. The ECB fears that this market rally isn't based on fundamentals. I don't know what's going on in the ECB, but they're really pushing the narrative that for some reason, all that's taking place is money laundering and illegal activity right now. But they're pushing it all towards Bitcoin only. And I think it's because Christine Lagarde only sees Bitcoin as a challenge to a CBDC. Now, we know most of these illicit activities are taking place using cash, not digital currencies. But that's the narrative in the EU. It's the narrative in the UK. It's the narrative in the United States as well. The reason they have to keep that narrative going is so they can fast track regulations at the same time. That's what's really going on. XRP surges in popularity. 
Ripple's token outpaces Ethereum in Google searches. You know, I think what's really going on is a lot of people are starting to get excited about XRP. Even though the price is going sideways, they fear that they're going to miss out when XRP finally takes off. Analysts foresee several factors that could contribute to XRP's upward trajectory. Foremost among these is the legal dispute resolution between Ripple and the SEC, with the landmark trial scheduled for April 23rd. A favorable outcome for Ripple could ignite enthusiasm, propelling XRP and the broader cryptocurrency market into a bullish phase. Conversely, an adverse ruling could temporarily impede the industry's progress. Everybody's banking on that Ripple SEC case coming to an end and if that happens in april xrp is going to lead this entire market it's going to take off so quick it's going to be overnight excitement for xrp holders i cannot wait to make that video the day that happens that is going to be such a great time it's what we're all waiting for right now and that's why i tell people you know, when I talk to the people outside of crypto, about crypto, every time I talk to them, I remind them that time is running out. Stop sitting on the sidelines. You don't want me to get rich and leave you behind, do you? That's the best way to sell it to the normies. Cheryl R. Brown asks, what happens with all the currencies that are currently in the bank? Now, this is an older video, but take a listen to what Chris Larson says here. I think I want to ask the question, what happens with all the currency that is, that, that is in the bank? What happens with all of that? Uh, yeah, so kind of our view is that um, nothing changes there. So that really all this is doing is it's probably mostly enabling banks themselves to move their existing dollars, euro, uh, whatever currency they're currently using, faster at lower cost without as much capital and at more competitive rates so it very well might be that most consumers never know they're using this technology no more than they know they're using some of the backbone of the internet that is there but they don't have to know about it they just know that suddenly now i can send twenty dollars to my family in india at practically no cost in five seconds at the you know a much better exchange rate than i ever would have gotten so the banks actually would have new services the consumer is just happy they're getting a better deal so so think about that okay the banks how do they attract new customers by having a new product if the bank was say had a big sign out front that said hey you could send money home in a matter of seconds at a cheap price sure people would run in there all day long and send money back home and that's what xrp and ripple net does and you know chris larson was telling them years ago that this is the technology that could change the entire banking system but when certain people heard that they said oh no we can't have that it's just like when somebody created a car that can run on water of course the oil industry they have to stop that it's the same thing with crypto and that's exactly what's going on around us right now but eventually that's going to come to an end because ripple's not going away xrp's not going away crypto is here to stay and it's going to change the entire financial system bank to bank cross-border transactions will be 54 trillion dollars when you add wholesale and consumer cross-border transactions it will hit 290.2 trillion dollars combined by 2030 now do the math for an average market cap for each cryptocurrency if those transactions will be done by xrp xlm xdc i say no more and that's why i'm always telling you these iso cryptocurrencies and it's not just going to be the three x coins you're going to add algo iota hbar nexera casper dag lcx into there as well q 
QNT is going to be the glue holding this whole system together. So there's going to be more than enough money to fill the market caps of each of these cryptocurrencies. Some will gain more market cap than others, but they're all going to hit some very high numbers. And that's why I urge people now to invest into ISO while the prices are so cheap. Buy up some of these cryptocurrencies. Don't wait because the narrative is going to shift once we start to see value come from ISO and it's going to shift very quick and money's going to pour in and these cryptocurrencies are going to take off and a lot of people are going to get left behind. A lot of people are going to sell too early at different price points and the value of these cryptocurrencies is going to continue on higher and higher over time. But we are very close to the finish line now. It's in sight. You can see it coming. All you have to do is stay patient, stay positive, so we can get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.